that what exactly is the role of an optometrist while dispensing because uh, there there is always this debate that uh, optometrists are clinicians and they should uh, i don't know they if they do this they will be termed as optician or something i have been doing dispensing and this is my core subject for the past 14 15 years so uh, I, i always you know boast about it and uh, i try to find out where my role as an optometrist is to be a good dispenser so uh, of course balancing the needs and wants of the child so this this uh, a sales person or just a person who knows to you know uh, ask the as the patient ki okay this frame or that frame or which which one you like you will obviously surpass that person when you come out of your clinic and guide the guardian or the parent you know uh, uh, and guide them that okay this is the best choice so that is always where your role lies as an optometrist because we are educated we are um, knowledgeable about what the science is behind the selection so that is where the role of an optometrist is um effective communication yes so while addressing the queries of the parent now in the clinic outside the clinic we as optometrists should always be present handy to to make them aware to make them understand to make them comfortable that you know what a good fit is why is it important why does the kid need uh, why is it um, you know uh, uh, why will it be a problematic if the kid does not comply to the spectacle all these things coming out from an optometrist outside the clinic will also impact the guardian or the parent so an effective communication is what an optometrist does of course proper guidance and choosing well this is very very important and uh, nothing nothing um, uh, better than an optometrist who can do this and of course effective tips and advice for positive wearing experience this we can only give not a uh, i uh, not maybe a you know a sales person i i would quote um but we we as uh, practitioners seeing cases dealing with cases we can only, only share those positive experience and make them more comfortable the child more comfortable and interact with them so th- these are the places where i found uh, that you know we are uh, uh, instrumental maybe as an optometrist we are instrumental and we should take part in these uh, these things okay so this is an article which actually recently fakhruddin uh, um, sent sent to me and i was just going through it uh, th- it's a it's a very interesting article uh, by ms renee saltis uh, she is an uh, um, dispensing uh, optometrist she, she her main forte is uh, dispensing so as i was saying in the beginning of my uh, presentation that uh, now with the ease of the pandemic uh, maybe you know vaccines coming out and stuff lot of children they will be again going back to school so so we n- now need to be very careful uh, and, and we need to kind of roll our sleeves and start um, communicating with our patients calling them uh, asking them about because we must be having database of okay fine that th- these are my uh, you know pediatric patients uh and suggesting comprehensive eye exam so we we keep a, a, i would just like to take the name of oci here that we are we kind of you know keep uh, in, uh, 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 like emphasizing that only only checking the power of the eye is not mm, not enough we need to do an ex, uh, a comprehensive eye exam that is where optometrist's primary role is and along with that again i would like to add that comprehensive eye exam along with corrective eyewear so that is again a very very important role and we had a, a study uh, from shankar netrale that uh, you know only doing comprehensive eye examination is not enough because um, at the end of the day if you are prescribing uh, maybe a an a, a, a refractive error correction or a binocular vision anomaly uh, correction it is going to be through the spectacle or the frame or the frame and the lens so that is equally important if the child does not comply to the uh, frame you have given uh, there is compliance issue then um, the entire work done by you will go in vain so that is again very important 
another role where we uh, have very uh, another another role i would say yes very very important role is creating awareness this is where i think we lack uh, it is it is our job to create more and more awareness of regular eye exams and the importance of the relationship of vision and learning there there's a critical relationship uh, in between vision and learning so we what we should do is we should create more and more awareness through any means whatever means you can we can that uh, uh, you know interact with the par- patient uh, with the parents with the guardians that it is very critical and your vision is actually directly linked with what a person learns and also uh, it is very very important to educate the parents about early detection so that is where again uh, role of optometrists lie that uh, early detection to any anomaly will of, of course help the child uh, to grow um, into uh, with with better vision if you can if, if you detect the problem uh, on early uh, in the early life in the early phase of life uh, of course you will be the person who can give better life to the patient so these are few things which are very explicitly uh, mentioned in the article and uh, mm, i would request everybody to maybe you know uh, if you're interested you can always search this article and uh, go through it this will help you because uh, as i said with the pandemic over again millions of children will return to school they will come to you for uh, eye checkups and all and you can always uh, improve your practice uh, with these tips which i have given i hope